Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is ethylene oxide sterilization. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. Make sure you subscribe to get all the good content. Check out the status bar below for our agenda. Stick around to the end to get our bonus questions. Our topic, ethylene oxide sterilization, is covered by 1345 section 7.5.7. .7. Ethylene oxide sterilization in five words. Vacuum, pressure, heat, gas, sterilized. Ethylene oxide is another widely used sterilization process throughout the medical device industry. Ethylene oxide, or EO, is a chemical sterilant, a gas, which is injected into a chamber and allowed to permeate through the product, inactivating all microorganisms. When you develop an ethylene oxide sterilization cycle, it will consist of the following phases, some of which may repeat. Preconditioning, vacuum, add gas, vacuum, off-gassing. Ethylene oxide gas can permeate through most plastics, corrugate, and other types of packaging materials. Since the ethylene oxide sterilization process uses a chemical sterilant, heat, pressure, multiple vacuum cycles, it's not always suitable for all products. Closed cell foams and certain types of plastics will absorb ethylene oxide like a sponge. When we use a chemical sterilant like ethylene oxide, we have to worry about residuals. And with ethylene oxide, those residuals have to be removed from the product, which we must show that we are removing it during the validation. The acceptable level for EO residuals will be called out in the corresponding ISO standard. Ethylene oxide sterilization processes must have a bioburden monitoring program to monitor the biological counts on your products to ensure that they are stable and consistent and are aligned with your expectations. The corresponding ISO standard for ethylene oxide is 11135. Ethylene oxide is a flammable gas and under the right conditions can cause explosions. This has happened a number of times throughout the US where there have been explosions at ethylene oxide sterilization facilities. And then finally, recently, there have been environmental concerns related to ethylene oxide gas. The state of Illinois, the EPA for the state of Illinois, has closed multiple EO sterilization sites, some of which have recently reopened. This action by the EPA for Illinois caused a large disruption within the medical device industry with companies scrambling to qualify new sterilization suppliers and new sites. So how do I know this is working? First, I use ethylene oxide sterilization when it's appropriate for my product. Second, my sterilization process, again, it's validated. Third, I have all the supporting programs for my sterilization process, bioburner monitoring, I've tested and checked residuals, all of those things are covered during my validation. And then finally, my sterilization suppliers, whoever's doing my sterilization for me, they are reviewed and approved and I have signed, signed quality agreements with them. How do I know it's not working? Well, first, I use ethylene oxide sterilization when it's not right for my product. Second, the validation for my sterilization process, it's not adequate. Third, my sterilization supplier, it's not on my approved vendor list. I haven't qualified them. I don't have a signed quality agreement. Fourth, my revalidation of my sterilization process, that's not being done on the schedule that it needs to be done. And then finally, any of my support programs, BioBird monitoring or any other support programs, they're not considered, implemented, and maintained. And now for the three bonus questions. Do we have any products that use ethylene oxide sterilization? If yes, can I get a list of them? Second, do we have any ethylene oxide sterilization done on site? If yes, which sites? And then finally, who manages the BioBurden monitoring program for our sterilization processes? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained, making quality systems simple for you.